Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Monkey, and today I'm going to do a quick review of a new, the new figures I bought recently. Of course, it shows that the box was open, so it was on discount for $70. Um, it's got the box, so it's really cool. It comes with both the figures, got the Hulk and the Hulk Buster from Age of Ultron, uh, the movie. Um, there's the front of the box, there's the back of the box, all that good junk, and there's the movie cover. If you want to, you can stop the video and check those out. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and bust this open. Okay, well I do have both the figures out of the box. First things first, we're going to, of course, talk about the Incredible Hulk, since that's kind of what my channel's all about, is the Hulk. Um, first thing I notice is he's kind of just mediocre. Not the best design for him. Doesn't feel good. The plastic just doesn't feel good. Um, face, the face looks actually really decent. On him, I also like the veins because he's being possessed by um, the Scarlet Witch. So I like the veins. I like the again the face, the eyes, but everything else just feels weird on him. Kind of feels tight. Um, you can see he's got the double jointed elbows, but they're showing. They're not hidden. Um, same thing with the knees. Got the double jointed knees, but not hidden. Kind of just feels like a normal big character, not a really a Hulk. Um, doesn't come with any extra hands, so he's just got fists. Um, kind of sucks on that line, but articulation, got full shoulder range, got the bicep, got the dual elbow or double elbow pins, um, got the wrist rotation and there, there is wrist bend, but it's kind of stiff, um, hips, we've got the ab crunch, go back, we got the head of course, we've got the thigh, we've got the double jointed knees, and we got the ankle, which there is the full ball joint in the ankle. Kind of going through this fast, I'm sorry. A little bit of texture on the pants, but overall, not my favorite Hulk. I'm glad that they've gotten away from this. I'm not a big fan of the movie Hulk figures they do. They don't really do a good job with them, um, but got to have them for the collection. Now, I am excited about the um, Hulk Buster, but you can see that they spent the majority of their time doing Hulkbuster. They were like, focus Hulkbuster because everybody's going to want the Hulkbuster instead of the Hulk. Instead of focusing on kind of the Hulk, the, you know, they went with the Hulkbuster, which is fine. Um, I think he looks and feels really cool. I'm glad to have a Hulkbuster for the collection so I can show Hulk beating the snot out of it. Um, even though in the movie it showed that he lost. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot more detail on him. And it actually feels good. It kind of has a good weight to him compared to the Hulk who should be pretty decent size to comparison to him, but he's a lot smaller and skinnier. Not a big fan of, I'm not gonna do a lot of the articulation on it due to the fact that there's a lot to do um, and it's hard to get full articulation for him um, with all of the stuff that's on him. But overall, I mean, Hulk is pretty sweet. Um, can't complain too much. I'm glad I was able to pick this thing up for cheaper. Um, then trying to find it on eBay or something for like over a hundred bucks for a closed box. Uh, just due to the fact that it's the movie Hulk, I wasn't really wanting a closed box anyways. Um, I'm just glad to have him in the collection. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.